um, touring the production facility. Anything surprising after you uh, come out here for the first time? It really wasn't surprising for me. It's pretty much what I expected. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there has to be a lot behind a good product. Mm -hmm. So I expected to see, you know, pretty much nothing but, but perfection, and pretty much that's what we that's what we see here. So in my background, I've done st in the steel business. You know, I've done uh, production work, and uh, so to watch go in the facility and watch the way that uh, from start to finish with their product in the way that uh, you know the places like I'm a fanatic when it comes to being clean and uh, you know try to. Uh, make each move productive um, with, a, with, a, with the minimal amount of people as possible. And so when we went through the shop there, it was pretty impressive of how much production was coming out of there um, with the minimal amount of people yeah. that were there. Yeah. Now, you did, were you able to meet Scott today? Was we Scott did meet there? Scott, yes. Yeah, he runs a tight ship. Yes, yeah. he does. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency is the name of the game down yeah. at the production center. And it shows. So, yeah. It shows. But yeah. that's a two-way street. You know, if he doesn't have the, the people behind him, you know, his, his job um, becomes tough too. So I, what I notice that there's harmony there, yeah. and everybody works together. And really, that's mm -hmm. the only way. That's the only way that it really works. Yeah, it's a big giant family, big giant team. Hey, yes, good. It's good to see you. Hi, Terry and Foster. I saw Sarah was on earlier. It's great to have you guys with us. We're here with Paul Senior and Joni from Orange County Choppers. Um, they are here visiting with the ASEA team, getting ready to learn more about who we are, what we are all about, and they are going to be going back to. Now, you were in upstate New York. Yes. About an hour and 15 minutes outside of New so, York City. So the, Terry and Foster actually are in Carmel, New York. Yeah, that's not oh, that's far. Not so far from that's us. not too far yeah. from you guys. Yeah, so that's they the are right some of our uh, most influential leaders here at ASEA, and uh, we're excited that they're going to be joining us at convention. So what is, uh, what gets you excited about the unveil for us at convention? You know, as people think about spending their hard-earned dollars to fly to Las Vegas from Anywhere around the world, we've got Jessica Moss, who is in Australia, actually. Wow. So, you know, what uh, what can you share about this incredible bike that might get people excited to join us? Give away secrets? Yeah, I can. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I you're can better at keeping secrets than anybody else in this building. I can assure you of that. <laughs> well, okay, so let me... I can maybe... tell you one thing. Okay, I walked something. past the bike yesterday for the first time. I've watched, you know, the, the metal being fabricated as I'm running downstairs, I'm upstairs, and you hear the banging and you see these things, and yesterday it stopped me dead in my track. I walked by and I said, what bike is that on the second lift? And everybody turned around and looked at me and said, Joni, that's the ASEA bike. I said, oh my gosh, that is really a really cool bike. Really, really cool bike. Well, you heard it straight from the CEO of OCC. That's a mouthful. The CEO of OCC. OCC? Yeah. yeah I'm just going to call you Joni. Yeah. Um, go ahead and share this video with uh, your teams. Let them know how excited we are about the great reveal and partnership with the Orange County Chopper team and particularly with Paul Sr. and Joni as we have gotten to know them and they've gotten to know us. I can assure you that they are ASEA ambassadors inside and out. All right, you guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will uh, see you later. <laughs>